everyone, this is Diane. It is about 5.30 in the afternoon, Friday, and I wanted to come out here real quickly to share with you some goodies that I found at the Dollar Tree, but I also wanted to share with you some goodies that I found at Michael's as well. It's not much, so I wanted to go ahead and put it along with this video, but if you do not want to see what I bought at Michael's, you can just fast forward it because the Dollar Tree will be, the Dollar Tree haul will be soon after this one. But if you did not, or were not aware of, there is a 60% off uh, all recollection washi sticker and embellishment coupon that expires tomorrow it's been valid all week and this is my third time going to Michaels so this is a little bit smaller than the other hauls and I've actually just bought washi but I wanted to share with you the last of it because I should not need any more washi for the rest of 2016 but these little flip-flop stickers and these came out like to a dollar and change because they're regularly $3.99 plus a 60% off so I'm going to say it was a dollar and change, but I'm buying these stickers because I'm making uh, paper clips for my planner for the summer. Is that not cute? Such cute little paper clips. I love them. You can stick them out of your planner or bills or any other receipts, whatever, and these are just perfect summertime paper clips. I also bought these to make with my paper clip. These to add to my paper clips. And I found this washi roll, this one here. I'm so excited. They had a smaller one. I think it has eight rolls with the mint and the pink only. But that was on sale. So the coupon was not going to pick up the 60% off of that one. So I decided to leave it. This one was regularly $19.99. And you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rolls of washi. And it came out to $8. I just love the gold, the mint, the pink. It all just works together. And I had not been able to find this one. I had bought this one the first time that I went. And it's got the mint and the purple. No, it doesn't. This is like the more of a blue. So I was looking for this one. And I found it. And I'm so happy that I found it. So it came out to $8. That should last me forever. Then the Heidi Swap goodies are 50% off. And I had found three of these. But I found more. Well, I found this one in purple. They had a yellow one as well. I was not crazy about the yellow one. I left it behind. But my sister had bought one of these for me. And I'm going to tell her to go ahead and keep it for her because I know she likes it. And she was just being super duper nice. Like she always is to me to give it to me. But I found one so she's going to be able to keep that one. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up. But it is a beautiful purple. And that's what it looks like. And the sentiments at the bottom. So I was very happy to find it. And this was the very last one. Then the last thing that I got were these Heidi Swap Metallic Texture Paste. This is what you can use with your um, stencils, and that's what I usually, I use just regular pa paste, and I add like the paints or my sprayers, I'm looking at the sprayers up here, to give it color, but this already has color and sheen on it, so I got it in the silver, and in the gold, and teal, and then in, oh, I got two silver, why did I get two silver? I'm going to return it, but why did I get two silver? Again, you I like to use these with my stencils. Um, it's very shimmery. As a matter of fact, I'll work on a card hopefully sometime during the week and share with you what I do with these. But these are regularly $5.99 and they were on sale for 50% off. So they came out to $2.99 and I was able to use my 15 additional teacher credit. So it came down, not teacher credit, but teacher discount. So they came out to $2.40, I think, the final price. So I'm bummed that I got two of the silver, but oh well. But that's it. That's all that I bought at Michael's. My next one is going to be the Dollar Tree haul. So just give me a second to put these things away and I'll come back with the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, guys. So I went to a brand new Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree I had not gone to before. And my main goal to go into the Dollar Tree was to look still for those little bow, paper bow and uh, flower embellishments. I've not been able to find them in any Dollar Tree, so I doubt I'm ever going to see those. So that's done and over with. Uh, somebody was showing the multiple packs of washi. Um, not multiple packs, but multiple. They came in a pack with with the slim ones, the slim skinny washies. I like using those planner. I went in hoping I would find those, and I didn't. So the, I think it's going to be another item that others are able to find, but I'm not. But here's the funny thing about this particular Dollar Tree. I went in... And because I had never seen the Dollar Tree, and I kept seeing these signs, well, like this one. Let me share the first thing that I got. So the first thing that I got was this um, 
it's used for lockers and you kind of like stand them up and you can use the top part as a shelf and then the bottom you can put stuff and I'll share the picture with you in a minute but this is the, the look at the price it said deals and I know that's the like the sister store to Dollar Tree but that's what the, the, the thing is this little rack is gonna do I'm gonna stand it up and I'm gonna put stuff on top and I can actually put things at the bottom but I, I had to like this is not and I said to myself this is not a Dollar Tree I am um, this is a deal store I, I need not to be in here because I prefer Dollar Tree over deals but I was looking around and I said everything is a dollar and I'm like what so I finally asked this guy and I'm like why are these stickers here and he's like this store used to be a deal store but they transformed it into a Dollar Tree. I said, so the prices, he's just like, ignore the prices, everything, anything that you find with the price, everything's a dollar. Doesn't matter if you see that it's $10, you're gonna get it for a dollar. So I was happy to come across this because I got it for a dollar. So even I've seen these at Walmart on, on clearance and they are not a dollar. Another thing that I came across um, and it had the price of $5 as well, um, is this calendar board and I love it. And this is from Jot, and the only thing that's a little crinkled at the bottom, but who cares? I'm gonna stick it to the, I'm gonna stick it onto the refrigerator, and here I'll put things, especially like the menu will be on here. So for five bucks, I, I couldn't believe it. Not for five bucks, for one buck, I couldn't believe it. Oh, these cookies, and these are these animal cookies, the iced ones. Um, this whole big bag, 14 ounces, again, two dollars there. And these are not even two dollars at Walmart. And I got these for a buck and they expire April 8th though of 2016 so the expiration date is coming up and the only reason I grabbed them is because I know what, between him and my son this bag is not going to last they're pretty good but these are very very sweet so if you, if you have a sweet tooth those are perfect but if you don't like sweets too much those are extremely sweet I was fortunate enough to come across some more of these gummies these are so so good and these expire November 5th of 2016 so I went ahead and grabbed two bags because the last time I got them and then I couldn't find them again then I came across across this Hershey syrup strawberry and this one expires August of 2016 this is not going to last until then and for a buck I was very fortunate to have found this so I got that one I got this little sunbeam timer the cutest I use a timer in the classroom, but my timer has not been working well, and this will be cute to have in the classroom. So even though it's a kitchen timer, as you can see, who cares? The kids are gonna like that. So the price was four dollars and a buck. I came across some pens, and I do not need to be buying pens, but these are so cute, and I don't even know how well they write. I just like the patterns. Um, these are from Ink Comfort Grip Retractable 1.0 millimeter. And they all write in black ink. This had the original price of two. So five pens for a dollar, 20 cents a piece. Not bad. Then what else? Oh, and then these legit post-its, not like another brand, but the posted brand. There's the price on there that Deals was selling it for, for $3. And I wasn't going to get these <coughs> because I have a ton of post-its. Oh my God, why is my camera? Did my camera move? I haven't noticed, sorry. I have a ton of post-its, but the reason I like these is because these are lined. I love lined post-its. So I I contemplated and I'm like, okay, I don't need another pack of post-its, but they're lined. And that's the only thing that made me change my mind. And we all know that the post-it brand is not cheap. Um, even at the deals price, it was $3, so a dollar a pack. So even when um, Office Depot has them on, on sale, they're not a dollar for three. So I was very fortunate and I went ahead and grabbed two packs because I didn't want to go crazy. I just didn't want to go crazy. Then I found this infinity scarf. Isn't this pretty? And three dollars. And again, there's a deal sticker again. Um, so I got it for a buck, of course, even though ignore the deals beautiful scarf I love the color and um, yeah nice one I haven't even I don't have not seen scarves like these at the Dollar Tree I did wear the one for St. Patrick's Day yesterday the kids really liked it it was a cute scarf but this one's really pretty the last thing that I got are these pencil pouches and this one is the canvas one it says believe in yourself and it has a pink zipper and it looks like this and because you guys know I'm a planner, I can easily put my washi tape or stickers in these. 
And then the next one I got with a purple zipper is Have a Nice Day. I like his little purple bunny. Isn't that cute? And it has the purple zipper. And that's it. That's all that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I, I came across, like, I saw lotions and I saw uh, things, like, for the washroom. But I don't need it because I still have plenty of the time that I bought before. I didn't buy any stickers because I went in only wanting to buy the ones that I had been looking for. And, well, it didn't have it. So this is what I came out with. And it took me forever because I kept because it was a new Dollar Tree. So I was going through every single aisle to making sure that I... Um, didn't miss anything, especially once I started seeing these deals, stickers. I'm like, I'm definitely going to look for these and get that. That'll be a deal this price for a dollar. So I was very fortunate that I came across quite a few items at those particular prices. Alrighty, guys. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed these few goodies that I found at the Dollar Tree. I didn't go too crazy. Didn't buy anything that's brand new that not anybody else has seen. Um, I just didn't find anything new that I could buy. But I hope everyone has had a great week and you have an even better weekend. And we'll definitely chit-chat on the next video. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.